<laughs> Good evening. I'd like to welcome you all to our regular board meeting. It's October 11, 2011. You could all stand and join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Zito with the proper nameplate, even though he was elected 11 months ago. And the comments I had I won't make because it's illegal to make them at this portion of the meeting. But I think that's an embarrassment to the town. He Do you have an agenda item you'd like to discuss, Norm? That's right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I'd like to say uh, thank you very much, Norm. I certainly do appreciate that. that was you can take nice. that with you because it wasn't bought with tax dollars. Thank you, Norm. <clears throat> Anyone else? Anything on the agenda they'd like to discuss? No? Okay, we'll, uh, we'll move on. Uh, Minutes. Do I hear a motion at meeting minutes from <coughs> September 13th? <coughs> Is it no? September 20th. 20th. Oh, we changed the date. Okay. Is mine the only? Everyone's missing the date. Yeah, yeah everyone's right. missing. Sorry. <laughs> September 20th. Uh, be accepted as presented. Amended. So, so moved. Um, second it. A second. I'll second. <coughs> uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, old business. Town Hall, Trooper Barracks, Water. George. Uh, basically, very quiet month. Just had to replace the uh, hot water heater in the Cooper Barracks. The spring some of the gutters over there. We made forcing that they were coming down from the rain. Water's doing fine, surviving everything. Everything's going fine. We're going to start flushing out this next weekend through the end of the month. Outside of that, we did the uh, work for the uh, replacing the water here. I did. We did. We got a lot of new water here for the I saw the bill for that, so I was just going to do it. We replaced it several years back. It was out there. It's a small one with a lot of use in it. It's a little bathroom right behind the communication room. It's in there. Disconnect a couple of them. Study, that's that's the whole, yeah. uh, 
problem we've had with the bolts growing out of the valves, holding the valve together, and the bands for the saddle tees growing off. What we want to do is make sure the pipes themselves, the 20 miles of pipeline, are not going to grow out also, so we have major problems with the pipes. We're doing a study to see what might be the main cause of everything growing. And, uh, you know, that will affect do a remedy of something other to fix it ground, wires, grounding rods in the ground, and that stuff alongside the hydrant stand. And this is the mother district. That's no, mother district. The original Darrow, Quackenbush, Route 20. There, everything there was done with stainless steel. Everything was wrapped in plastic. Uh, you know, done entirely different. Was said the mother district was done at the time the industry was changing, and right. you know, and now it's ten years old. And now it's ten years old. <coughs> now, you know, ten years old. Ten, you know, there's a lot of things in the district, and in the well houses, communications. Uh, uh, your foreign air pumps, uh, <coughs> out or anything else. You know, ten years is about to limit out a lot of those things. So over the next few years, five, all of the uh, fittings are failing. The, uh, the bolts that hold the epoxy. Yeah, the valves they got uh, top and the bottom half. Actually, there's three pieces. They're all epoxy. And these bolts are sacrificial anodes. They're called. So you can have current, you can have groundwater. Uh, there's 14 different reasons that will make these bolts the center. They, they aren't stainless, stainless steel. steel. They aren't stainless steel. The stainless steel back up to about 2001 was not a standard in the industry. In this area, it was not a problem in this area. Why after 2000, 2001, you start to have a problem in this area? Maybe we, we go back to water. Uh, people that installed it. No. Very tried. Yeah. And they weren't called for in the plans. They weren't called for. That's the but it's a problem. It's a problem going on in town and colony, town and this town of Rotterdam, Altamont, City of Schenectady. It's a problem they all have. <coughs> so maybe worth looking into the study. The study. We, are gonna, we, are gonna gonna save, we are going to save the bolts. <clears throat> we aren't going to save the bands. They're all going to have to be replaced. There's 250 saddle tees. There's 300 valves. All the bolts are going to have to be done. And the parts for each of those are $70, $80 a piece. And then the estimation. Then. Yeah. The 6-inch valves are going quick. The 8-inch valves. The 10-inch valves are, you can see the wear on to them. When we dig up, we replace everything. We don't. This is a problem throughout the year, uh, all of the time? Yeah. Well, this unit's had water in for years. And, uh, yeah, this is a problem. They're having, they're having problems with this too, where stuff that is carbon steel, not stainless steel bands or bolts holding the valves together are corroding. It started, in the, same issue. it started in the western part of the state. They went like in the 1990s and went to stainless steel out there. And the thing was, they said out there, because you got all the national grids, all the power lines coming out of Canada, coming across the western part of the state, that was the cause of their problem. And our first problem is here started underneath all the high tension lines. <coughs> So we're going to have to replace all of them eventually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some are going along and digging up and doing, and others all of a sudden they pop up on you. <coughs> you know, and each excavation is around you know seven hundred to a thousand dollars anyway. <laughs> Dig each one out. You can do probably two valves, some places three valves you can do at a time. So. The saddle to use, you're not going to really grab more than one at a time. Those. All of the districts are? No, just the original district. The rest of them, 
everything is stainless steel. It's all wrapped in plastic. It is also not um, the original district for continuity and tracing the water lines. You can find them with all the locators as wedges grow in all the joints. The rest of the districts do not. And that's the full panel. four days of sunshine I guess or so because of Monday I was away for three days and George called me and he thought we were the driver was going to wash out even though it, it, it stopped raining the water's coming down the lawns of all the homes going into the road and about crossing the road so the ground is saturated like George said we got a lot of water and uh, as long as it doesn't rain like that again. And this wasn't from the first flooding. This is just water that came down all the time. Uh, another thing here is uh, we got a, a complaint and it happened three years ago. Parker's Corners Road and Gifford Church Road. Uh, we got some people here tonight that always had this problem and it's very, very dangerous. And uh, the county was supposed to have corrected it. And what they actually did was plan a lawn, which made it where now anybody that wants to take a right turn off of Parker's Corners Road, they got a hairpin turn that you got to make, which is ridiculous. So the road should be, we have to. Now we got to go and see the county and see if we can do anything. Uh, I've got an idea on how it should be done. Uh, their, their main concern was the fact that uh, they couldn't plow with the snow plow going up the hill if they were to roll it. But looking at it, all they have to do is put a barricade on Gifford Church Road. And it doesn't have to be a 90 degree angle going up the Parker's Corner. It could be a 45 degree angle where they can still go. Right. I have a drawing right here. Nick. Got it? I have a drawing from uh, 08. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy to see them working there. And they did absolutely nothing we wanted. All they did was plan a lawn, which made it worse. Right. So I think that uh, we all should stick together here. And if we gotta go to legislation or whatever we gotta do, let's do it right. Now you've got people here tonight that probably gonna get up and talk. Right, Wayne? Yeah. About the accidents in Diane? Yes. Uh, a motorcyclist come up over the hill, hit a car, right? What, three months ago? It was in May, that was me. It was around me pulling into my driveway. Okay, yeah. and uh, we're going to be waiting until someone gets killed. We, we can always do it, you know? <laughs> the same as the traffic light that you finally got spread away on Route 7 and uh, Penguin Road, okay? Look how long that took. Right. Now, this was three years ago when this started. Maybe we can do something about it and get it corrected, you know? So if we can go see uh, Joe Ryan, maybe you and I. Uh, yeah, we need to go. We need, yeah, it's, but it's under, it's under, um, it's state road. So the county is going to then pass us off to the state. So um, let me, yeah, we can, we can try to get a hold of the, the um, engineer who helped design this down here. Right. And figure out a way to go that way. Let's work on that for them, you know. But this is a DOT. We have to have DOT's blessing in order to do it. Well, we can work on it again. We can work on it and work on it and work on it, and I'll sit on their doorstep and just it. <laughs> I know it. But it's it, it, that is a horrible, horrible. And no, just, just about a week ago too. You know, because that hill, people come flying up over that hill again. I was pulling into my driveway, and there was a truck coming with a trailer, and. Thank God I seen him last second and I stopped, but he was coming and he swerved and his trailer knocked over my garbage cans. What if those are my kids? Could have been our kids, Carrie. You know, I mean, 
it's just, it's it's getting really ridiculous. I'm scared to even let them out in front of the house. You know, they kept the bus in the morning. What if there was somebody flying in the morning when it's 6 a.m.? They, the, they get the bus at 6.45. Right. So, and it's pitch black sometimes. It shouldn't take much to fix that. I mean, that alternative configuration, which it can't be very costly to make that change, would solve the problem of speed because it's a... Yeah, they can't get the... Right. They can't get they the... Can't get right. the right. Sure. right. Um, and also it allows the ability to make a right-hand turn much more safely. Yeah, they've actually come over that hill airborne. Yeah. And um, they've Good. taken out my lilacs bushes, landed right in my yard. My kids could have been there at the time. Took out the telephone pole <coughs> at the end of my driveway, landed on its roof. Um, another instance, you know, further up near Gideon's house, the... Yeah. Uh, the uh, log cabin, they went right out there and through the trees. If they didn't hit the trees first, they could have come into my son's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the speed limit there is 40, right up the road it's 30. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing is it changes from 30 in Albany County to 40. And then they they don't do 40 past all of our houses. <laughs> they do, they do 55. 60. You never see a trooper or anybody ever sit on that road. And I've asked yeah. them to come sit at the end we of the all driveway. Have. <laughs> the day of my accident, I begged. I said, please, if somebody would just come, just hang out for one or two days. We've I all guarantee. asked. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen that happen mm -hmm. yet. The traffic has increased there. There's mm -hmm. a lot more traffic mm -hmm. going through that road now than it was. I mean, I've been in the house for 23 years. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was hardly any traffic through there. Now it's just mm -hmm. it's quadruple the traffic through there. And not to mention, it's got a high bicycle traffic. Right. Yes. Oh, People joggers. Walking, feet, and walking. Walking. Yeah. And yeah. There's no shoulders on the road. That's the other thing. <laughs> the, the road has no shoulder. There's horses in ditches. Yep. I have my horses. And I asked for a sign. They wouldn't put a horse sign.